All right, guys, welcome back. Plan for this video is I'm gonna be doing a quick one year review with my Strike Master Light Flight. This is the eight inch. I've had this for a little over a full season. I used this very hard last season, and I think I'm six or seven outings in so far with it this season. And I'm just gonna talk about um, what I think of it, my experiences with it. And this isn't gonna be a spec review. Um, the basics of it is uh, this is like 5.3 or 5.4 pounds, has a synthetic flighting. It has a hexagon aluminum shaft, uh, comes with an adapter, the disc, the blades on this are pretty nasty. This video is pretty much just gonna be me talking about my experiences with it, the things I like about it, some of the things I don't like about it. And we're gonna keep this one pretty short. Um, the things I like about this is this thing is a beast. I have drilled countless holes with this. I haven't had one problem with it. This thing cuts just as good today as it did the first hole I cut with it. And I've cut upwards of two and a half, almost three feet ice with it. And this thing just eats that ice like it's not even there. Um, the weight you can't beat with these. I have primarily swapped over to this combo, the eight inch light flight with my rigid octane, nine amp hour battery. I use this everywhere I go. I fished lake trout with this. I did overlapping holes. I've pike fished with this with overlapping holes. And I'm just super happy with this auger. I have no regrets at all with this thing. I think this thing is one of the best things I've bought when it comes to ice fishing. There's no other auger on the market right now that I wish I had. The only thing I wish is that they made this in a nine or a 10 inch. I've heard through the grapevine that there's no plan to, but I'd love to see a nine inch or a 10 inch. This auger is by far one of the fastest I've seen, both gas augers and comparing it to other cordless drill augers. This thing is blazing fast, it's hard to beat. There's no jerking of the hole, like when you're cutting down towards the bottom of the hole, this thing doesn't twist on your wrist at all. Um, the blades have held up. I don't feel like these are getting dull at all. And like I said, I've drilled a ton of holes. The cover, that's held up fine. All these flights have held up fine. I haven't had one problem. I bombed these around in my jet sled and uh, I was actually almost a little skeptical. You know, I thought maybe one of these would crack or break, but they're actually flexible a little bit and I haven't had one problem. The only problem I have had was with the adapter here. I feel like the adapters they initially sent out were these were kind of flawed and they fixed them. Um, they were sending out updated adapters last season and this is actually the updated adapter and I haven't had one problem since. The original problem was I think both with the adapter itself and the bolt they use to attach it in. My first time using it, um, I, I cranked it down as tight as it would go, drilled eight or 10 holes and I noticed a little bit of wobble in the adapter. But long story short, they fixed that problem. They sent out new adapters and this adapter has been 100% solid since. This adapter hasn't moved or wiggled since I put it in last season and I've drilled a bunch of holes and it's been fine. And that is the only issue I've had with this light flight is uh, the adapter. Everything else has been 100% solid. I'm 100% happy with this auger. Like I said earlier, there's not one other auger on the market that I wish I had. And I did a couple tests with this last year. I opened up a bunch of old ice fishing holes and uh, this chewed through them no problem. And like I said a little bit ago in the video, I also did a couple adjoining holes. So this thing will open up old holes and cut adjoining no problem. And there's a shot of the blades, in case you haven't seen them right up close. These things are nasty. It has that centering point, that's still razor sharp. These blades are almost identical to my Strike Master Laser Pro Gas Auger, which is also a beast. And I think these blades are hard to beat. As you can see, they're still in good condition. Um, I haven't touched them. I'll show you guys a few holes. I'll show you how it cuts. You heard like a high speed winding. It's that as that's spinning fast. That's not the drill making that noise. And we're going to wrap it up there, guys. It's that easy. If you guys are looking at getting a life flight, it's 100% a thumbs up from me. I'm completely confident that you guys will enjoy this auger. But we're going to wrap it up there, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.